Welcome to LA Art Zone, where we take you an artistic journey through LA County. I'm Greg Goldner. And I'm Jessica Campbell. And today we're at a one of a kind museum, the Museum of Jurassic Technology. Yes, and the MJT houses an eclectic collection of ideas, inventions, and interesting art you won't find at any other museum. It's at 9341 Venice Boulevard in Culver City, and the museum is open from Thursday through Sunday. And don't forget to check out their website, mjt.org. And the museum is a very unique experience. So Jess, let's split up, check it out, and we'll be back with you later. See ya. We're joined by Alexis Hyman, the Administrative Director and Archivist at the Museum of Jurassic Technology. Alexis, thanks for having us. Thank you. And tell me a bit about the museum. Well, the Museum of Jurassic Technology traces its origins back to the earliest days of the museum as an institution. We see that story as beginning with Noah's Ark, the world's first natural history museum. Uh, a lot of the exhibits uh, look back to the 16th and 17th centuries when um, Renaissance and early Enlightenment collections just started to be looked at with scientific interest and, and began to become what we know of today as the museum. The name Jurassic came from uh, one of our earliest uh, collections that was of prehistoric fossils. But the museum has evolved over the years to include many different exhibits. Like the collections in early museums, we have uh, exhibits about art and natural history, the history of science, history of medicine, philosophy, anthropology. The museum is designed for people to come and explore, and each person that comes through the museum has their own experience and sees something different and comes to discover something different. So we just hope that people will be able to let their minds wander to a place where they're able to learn something for themselves. This collection was inspired by early exhibitions and specifically this horn right here was believed to be the horn of a woman in 1688, Mary Davis of Solgal, who was believed to have been born with four horns on her head. This horn is from a private collection, and ultimately that private collection inspired the institution of museums. Throughout the museum, there are different bizarre natural wonders that really get the mind to think and explain different phenomena. This exhibit right here is an example of 500-year-old Baroque stage technology that shows us how quickly backdrops could be interchanged and how artists were able to create the illusion of moving water. Artists and ordinary people devoted themselves to creating illusion and inspiring imagination. Housed in the museum is the Borzoi Cabinet Theater, which screens poetic documentaries produced by the MJT. One of the films, The Book of Wisdom and Lies, was shot in the Republic of Georgia, and it was even shot in 3D. These films are fantastic examples of artistic expression and passion for film. One of the rooms at the Museum of Jurassic Technology, there are these tiny mosaics, microscopic mosaics really. They were done by Henry Dalton, who is an English scientist as well as a really interesting artist. He used the scales of butterflies to create these wonderful mosaics that you can look at through these microscopes. With each micro mosaic, you can see his skill and precision as a scientist and his keen aesthetic eye as an artist. Gosh, they're truly amazing. One of them is known to have over a thousand butterfly scales in its creation. Tell the Bees is a very interesting room here. It's a room dedicated to old society beliefs and culture for curing ailments and unexplained phenomena. Just over here, you'll see something called duck's breath. They once believed that you could cure a throat disorder by placing the bill of a duck in your mouth and breathing in the cold air of the duck. This would get rid of that ailment. Now another old ceremonial tradition was called the telling of the bees. You would speak into the cloth, 
Say a member of the family passed away, you would immediately come and have to do a telling of the bees. And then the bees would decide if they would live or if they would die. Now, one of the oldest and most peculiar beliefs in this exhibit is mouse cures. They believe that if you ate mice on toast or mouse pie, you could actually cure stuttering. This room is for the lives of the perfect creatures, the dogs of the Soviet space program. These portraits were commissioned by the museum to honor the very first animals to leave the earth and go into space. And they just happen to be man's best friend, dogs. Laika was the first earth-born creature to go into outer space. And what followed her were 10 beautiful female dogs that were also found on the streets of Moscow and they were extensively trained before they went on their mission. These dogs basically paved the way for human exploration and went where no man had gone before. The tea room offers complimentary tea and a place to rest. You can sit here and let all that curiosity settle. Relax after all that intense enlightenment. The experience isn't quite over yet. You have to see the rooftop garden. Well, I'm here with David Wilson, who's the director of the Museum of Jurassic Technology, and we are on the beautiful rooftop garden of the museum. So David, tell me, what was the motivation? This is a beautiful area. Thank you. It's a small colonnade rooftop garden that is inspired a lot by Moorish architecture. There's a beautiful little colonnade in Spain that was our primary inspiration. But there's also Uzbeki, Turkish influence. It's absolutely beautiful. And I know you also do performances here, correct? We do. We have a series of performances here at the museum, a series that's actually funded by LA County. We do performances typically in the evening. We'll deck the courtyard with up to 50 candles and torches. We have about one a month. Most recently, we had a performance by a wonderful instrumentalist and singer of primarily American folk music named Frank Fairfield. He sang two concerts to a packed courtyard. Wow, well, I imagine that to have been wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that oh, with sure. us. Oh, sure. Thank you. After being inside and absorbing all that knowledge and history and then coming out here and seeing the blue sky and nature, somehow the marvels of the world all come together and it all makes sense. Well, we tried our best today to show you some of the great highlights of the Museum of Jurassic Technology, but just some things you just have to see for yourself. So come on by and experience the wonder and intrigue. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the website at mjt.org and look for their special events on their beautiful rooftop garden. And join us again for another artistic journey through Los Angeles County right here on LA Art Zone. <laughs>